I'm going to show you eight hop-ups, two bonus tips, and something I didn't do. Number one. Reinforced wheel axles will minimise the wear that you get from the drive shafts. They come in pairs, so if you want to pick these up, get two sets. Number two. Reinforced rear drive shafts are much thicker, giving you more torque and more power. Number three. Installing this much thicker prop shaft will give more torque to the drivetrain. The supplied prop shaft is thin like an old coat hanger and prone to flex. You'll also need these urethane bushings, one for the prop joint and two for the rear gearbox joints. Here, let me show you in the Hot Shop manual. Without these, there would be too much slop. Number four. Front reinforced drive shafts. You see the common theme here. These are thicker and more substantial, which again gives you more torque and power. Number five. You get red CVAs in the kit, which work very well, but you've always got the option to get alloy shocks. And this set matched the color of the buggy perfectly. I ended up putting an O-ring on the inside of the shock shaft to shorten them a fraction, making them the perfect length. Number six. The front wishbone is a known weak point, so fitting a brace to reinforce it is an obvious choice. This vintage one by CRP will be hard to find. Fortunately, you can get a 3D printed one, and I'll provide a link to that file below. Even better, Extra Speed have made an alloy one based on the same design as the original CRP brace, and mine just turned up. So let's see how this fits. As you can see, I've had no issue at all fitting this. It fits perfectly. I've added a link below if you want to check it out. Number seven. A steel pinion is a good upgrade to the softer aluminium one supplied in the kit. Number eight. Not only does this buggy look better with silver wheels, it also matches the box art. It's a shame this re-release doesn't come with the chrome wheels, as they are supplied with the Blockhead Motors Hotshot 2 kit. Or, you could pick up these alloy wheels. I'll add a link in the description below if you're interested. There's more to come, but now be a good time for you to tap the like button if you haven't already. Much appreciated. Two bonus tips. Number one. If you install the driver figure, then be aware that a rollover will push the driver down towards the chassis cover and with enough force it will cause it to crack. This happened to me when driving on short grass, which has too much grip so it was easy to flip over the buggy. You can reinforce the chassis cover with scrim tape and then apply shoe goo on top. Or you could try this Gorilla Tape, which is quicker and a lot less mess. Number two. Foam body washers help keep the shell nice and snug, stopping any rattle and help reduce any wear to the mount holes. Before I install them, I like to add some double-sided tape to the body mounts, so when you remove the shell, the washers stay in place. I was thinking about trying the dual shocks on the front, as I've got the shock mounts from the Super Shop, but that means I need to remove this sway bar. The solution would be to use the Hot Shot or the Hot Shot 2 sway bar as the mounts are flat carbon fibre opposed to moulded plastic. So without the right sway bar, this is one hop up I didn't do.